Hey guys, today it's time for another video request. And the question that we got from some of you is this. Daniel, should Christians believe in zodiac signs, horoscopes, or astrology? Well, let's take a look at what the Bible says about this. As always on this channel, we can't just go by what we feel or think. We have to go to the truth, the source of all truth, which is Scripture, God Himself. Let's get to it. All right, now just very quick, if it's the first time that you're here, my name is Daniel and welcome to DLM Christian Lifestyle, where we preach biblical truth. We go back to the Bible. Some churches today, they kind of just preach to itching ears. We don't do that here. We go to Scripture itself to see what God has already revealed to us in Scripture. So if you haven't subscribed, consider it. And if you don't really want to, then I'll do it anyway. <laughs> it's going to help you to grow spiritually and I would love the support. And also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. You'll get notifications from YouTube. All right, so zodiac signs. Is it a sin to believe in zodiac signs? Well, we have to look at what it really is first. Zodiac signs are constellations that appear in the sky over a calendar year. People would look at it and believe in horoscopes to tell them their future. There are basically forecasts about things in their future like relationships, work, health, and finances. Is this a sin? Of course it is. It is just like going to see a fortune teller, you know, putting your trust in this kind of higher power in stars where it tells you the future or you think it does instead of trusting God as the only higher power in your life. Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 14. There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering, anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens or a sorcerer, verse 11, or a charmer or a medium or a necromancer or one who inquires of the dead, verse 12. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God is driving them out before you. 13. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. 14. For these nations which you are about to dispossess, listen to fortune tellers and to diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not allowed you to do this. You know, the millions of stars, when you go camping, and you go outside of a city, which is full of pollution, you look at the stars, you see the Milky Way, the beauty of it. It shows you how amazing the Creator really is, who created all of it, including our planet Earth. And sadly, many people want to worship the creation instead of the Creator. Deuteronomy 4 verse 19, And beware, lest you raise your eyes to heaven, and when you see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the host of heaven, you be drawn away and bow down to them and serve them, things that the Lord your God has allotted to all the peoples under the whole heaven. Don't follow these stars, follow God. You know, these signs, whether your birthday is in October or November or December, and you go and you're like, all right, what's going to happen in this month? These things are very vague. Anyone who read it, something there could probably happen to them. Not only that, you are also opening yourself up to demons. You're giving the devil a foothold in your life because you're believing a lie. And if you believe this lie, some demons can try to make some of these things true in your life. It's like going to a fortune teller. Don't do it. Some fortune tellers, they're just liars. They just pretend. But there are some who get their powers from demons. Demons are not always accurate, but they can give... I've talked to a person the other day. <laughs> And this demon actually told him that he is the Holy Spirit. And over time, he gave them certain powers. One of these things was to see a little bit of the future. It was not always right, but it came from demons. And so the powers that fortune tellers have, they come from demons as well. So people who are busy reading the signs, doing fortune telling, be very, very careful. Stay away from all kind of occultic practices. This is extremely dangerous. And there is nothing new under the sun. This happened in the Old Testament already. 
other religions did these things. Stand fast in your enchantments and your many sorceries in which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. You are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you. Those who divide the heavens, who gaze at the stars, who at the new moons make known what shall come upon you. Behold, they are like stubble. The fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. No coal for warning oneself is this. No fire to sit before. Trust in God. Worship Him, not His creation. The time you were born, the month you were born in, has nothing to do with your future. God knows why He created you. God knows the plan He has in store for you. Go to Him to find out the truth, to find your own identity in Jesus Christ, and to know your purpose here on this short temporary world. You know, the king in Daniel's time also went to the wrong sources to try and find truth. Daniel 2 verse 27, Daniel answered the king and said, No wise men, enchanters, magicians, or astrologers can show the king the mystery that the king has asked. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the latter days. You know, some people who go to star signs, they want to have hope. They want something good to happen in their life. That's why they're going to these things. Oh, what is there? Maybe this is something that's going to happen. No, we as reborn Christians, we have our hope in Jesus Christ, in God Himself. We trust Him with every aspect of our lives. We don't need star signs or anything else. Astrology is misleading. It is godless and it is idolatry. Don't do it. Go to God, trust Him, and He will lead you forward. Psalm 32 verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. And Psalm 119 verse 105, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Now, something to think about. Jacob and Esau, they were twins, right? Meaning, <laughs> They were born under the exact same star sign, but their characters, they were two different people. Their lives were totally different. So you can't convince me of star signs. My father, he was one of twins. My brother, he has two twin daughters. And let me tell you, there's nothing similar about their lives. Zodiac signs, they are wrong. Don't look at them. It's unbiblical. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. You know, God created all the stars. And there's nothing wrong with it to look at it, to appreciate it, because then you really start to understand just how amazing, how big God really is. Psalm 147 verse 4 says, he determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. And Isaiah 40 verse 26 says, Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is missing. God created it for His glory, and we're just living on one of these stars, the planet Earth. And you know, it also helps us with direction and time. Listen to this, Genesis 1 verse 14, And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. So, in a nutshell, don't believe in zodiac signs. Believe in God. Put your trust in Him. Go to Him for everything that you need. You can enjoy the stars. You can use it for time and for direction. But don't trust it to tell you the future. Just put your trust in God. And if you need any wisdom, go to God because He will give it to you. James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach, 
and it will be given him. Now, if you have any other questions about anything, then watch these playlists here and you might find your answers. I'll see you there. And before you go, always remember, God loves you and I love you too. Bye. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to you.